What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? This is your host, that autistic, optimistic reactor, the Lion Heart, here to do another episode reaction of Avatar The Last Airbender, book three, chapter eight. And eight is one of my good numbers, eight and nine. So since we're at episode eight, I am excited. I'm curious. I want to know what episode eight is. I want to, you know, late, these episodes have been on a roll with episode, episode, episode. But we're going to episodes eight and nine. We're going to see how they go because those are my numbers. Those were the, the, the month, the day, and the year I was born. August 9, 1989. That's right, 8989. So I'm curious to know what episode 8 is going to be on Avatar The Last Airbender. But we got to stop talking. We need to get into the reacting and review. So anyway, let's get to it. Avatar Avatar The Last Airbender, book 3, chapter 8, starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go! <sighs> chapter 8, The Puppet Master. Okay, see what that's about. And they knew the blade of wing fun was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Saka, that was funny. That was not scary, though. That was funny as hell the way he did that. <laughs> Oh man. Is this the invasion? When mom was a girl, a snowstorm buried the whole village for weeks. Mom ran outside for help, but when everyone came back, me was gone. Where'd she go? Oh god. Her story's working. Alright, looks like Wait, guys, did you hear that? What <laughs> nice try. It just stopped. All right, now I'm getting scared. Hello, children. Oh. Like that wasn't creepy enough? To frighten you. My name is Hama. What do you mean disappearing? When the moon turns full, people walk in and they don't come out. Okay. Okay, that was way too weird. How are you gonna say that and then act chill about that? Don't worry, you'll all be completely safe here. Why don't I show you to your rooms and you can get a good night's rest? That woman gives off a lot of creepy vibes. I know, Momo, this place is creepy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fall asleep. Oh, uh, guess he did fall asleep. Seriously, there's something off. This woman is way too... The smile is just... Yeah. I think you and I are going to get along swimmingly. <laughs> we won't have any ash bananas till next week. People disappearing in the woods. Weird stuff during full moons. This just reeks of spirit world shenanigans. I bet if we take a little walk around... That's true. It would sound like spirit world. ...did to the environment to make the spirits mad. Avatar style. Mysterious town for mysterious children. Okay, what was that? That Hama seems a little strange. Like she knows something. Yeah. Or she's hiding something. Exactly. Thank you, Sokka. She's a nice woman who took us in and gave us a place to stay. She kind of reminds me of Grand Grand. Sokka, you're gonna get us all in trouble. And this is just plain rude. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh! Okay, that's pretty creepy. Okay. So she's got a hobby. There's so no she got to be the puppet master because she has puppets in her house. Oh, we'll be back soon. It's empty except for a little chest. <gasps> Maybe it's treasure. Damn it, Toph, really? What are you doing? You're breaking into a... You're using your sword as a lockpick? Unbelievable, that actually worked. Doing this. Maybe there's a key here somewhere. Oh, hand it over. This is crazy. I'm leaving. Suit yourself. Do it, Toph. 
Damn, Katara. Ah. Yep, you got caught. You fuck. You fucked up, guys. It's the last thing I own from growing up in the Southern Water Tribe. What? What? She's from the Southern Water Tribe. You're from the Southern Water Tribe. Wow. Just like you. How did you know? I heard you talking around your campfire. Ocean kumquats are a lot like sea prunes if you stew them long enough. Great. <laughs> I knew I felt a bond with you right away. Apology accepted. Now let's get cooking. Wow, a southern water bender. That's. I'm sorry. Did I say water? Tr southern tr water tribe member. That's the right term. Ugh. <laughs> and she's a waterbender. You're a waterbender. Oh, she's a waterbender. That's because the Fire Nation wiped them all out. <laughs> Snowing ash. This is no different than what happened in the Northern Trot Northern Water Tribe. Each time rounding up more of our waterbenders and taking them captive. Unbelievable, man. That's some bullshit. <laughs> we did our best to hold them off, but our numbers dwindled as the raids continued. I was led away in chains. The last waterbender of the Southern Water Tribe. Freaking colonizers always be trying to take people, put them in chains, make them slaves. This is just what we're looking at. They put us in terrible prisons here in the Fire Nation. I can't tell you what it means to meet you. It's an honor. You're a hero. I never thought oh. I'd meet another Southern Waterbender. I'd like to teach you what I know. So That's incredible that this woman happens to be from that gone. village. Yes. Yes, of course. To learn about my heritage, it would mean everything to me. That's why you have to learn to control water wherever it exists. I've even used my own sweat for water bending. That's very resourceful, Katara. Exactly. You're thinking like a true master. There's water in places you never think about. Interesting. Interesting. She's gonna be very handful. I mean, handy. I don't see anything that would make a spirit mad around here. Maybe the moon spirit just turned me. Hey, the moon spirit is his ex girlfriend. She rules the sky with compassion and lunar goodness. Wow, these flowers are beautiful. They're called fire lilies, they only bloom a few weeks a year. But they're one of my favorite things about living here. Fire and lilies. Like all plants and all living things, you can take it even further. Whoa. Wow. She took the water out of the flowers and even broke a boulder. Old man Ding. Oh, that would hurt. I'm sorry, then. What would you say your age? The hair, the liver spots? I tried to fight it, but I couldn't control my own limbs. It just about had me into a cave up there. And I looked up at the moon for what I thought would be my last glimpse of light. Why would a spirit want to take people to a mountain? Oh, no! I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. Okay, so full moon and the old woman definitely is the reason. She is a waterbender, and she and they, she would hate the Fire Nation. I can hear them. They're this way. For generations, it has blessed water. Whoa! Nation. What the hell? Allowing us to do incredible things. What the hell is happening to her? Prison 
faces like this. I knew there was something creepy about her. We have to stop Hama. I'll get these people out of here. You go. What I'm about to show you, I discovered in that wretched Fire Nation prison. Okay, let's hear let's hear the technique. Oh! Developing the skill that would lead to my escape. Blood bending? Blood bending. Oh! Controlling the water in another body. Because the human body contains 70% of water. Once I had That's genius. I was ready for the men. <laughs> Holy crap, that's genius. Hence the villagers. That's crazy. No wonder why they call it Puppet Master. That's nuts. Shit, she's doing it to you. You should have learned the technique before you stop, please. <laughs> Come on, guys, where are you? Oh shoot, oh shoot. Let's go, Katara. Let's go, Katara. Your technique is useless. Yes! Waterbender versus waterbender, let's go! Come on, come on, girl. Let's go, let's go. Oh, sh Come on, Katara. Yeah, yeah. Froze that. That's how you do it right there. Yeah. Woo! That's our waterbender master. All right, good, good, good. Restrain him. Wow. That's that's right, guitar. No, 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 no. No. Oh, sh she's doing it. She's doing it. She's done blood bending. Wow. I mean, wow. Are we going to end the episode like that? Jesus Christ. Hold on. Yo, guys, that's what sh this gave it. A, this gave it like a Halloween type of theme with its scariness, suspensefulness. I mean, this water bending, I don't know how to feel. I got mixed emotions because if I was in... Um, if I was in this woman, uh, Hema, I think her name was Hema, if I'm saying it right. If I was in her situation and I was trapped and I was put as a slave, I probably would feel that same animosity towards the Fire, Na the, the fire Nation. I probably would be the same way, okay? Yeah. Sorry, it's, it's hard to process. Be and then at the same time, it's like... She didn't want to do bloodbending, but she had to do bloodbending because if she didn't do bloodbending, her brother was going to kill the Avatar. And mind you, that, you know, this woman would never know that that boy was the Avatar, which means she would have done the Fire Nation's job getting rid of the last airbender. Not only that, ruining the cycle, ruining any chances of the war. Like, there's so many things. And if without the last airbender, then... Basically, the next person in that in the in the cycle, which is a waterbender, 
would not be able to learn air and then they cannot fully access the avatar power so you see the complication of that but it also has to be bad not just just because she doesn't want to learn bloodbending but she had to sell one of her own southern water tribe members she had to sell her out and now that woman has to be stuck in cuffs like i have mixed emotions for that because that's a bad way for that ending it should not have to be like that for her she already been a slave and to be and i get it they're trying to be good they're trying to think about the people i get it but it's like you see what i mean it's like mixed emotions i i don't know how to feel about that but i I was right about one thing. Episode 8 was going to be something, and it turned out to be super awesome. It turned out to be really awesome. So, guys, thank you so much for checking out this reaction video. If you can, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell for the notifications. Show some support to yours truly, the Lionheart. Other than that, I got to bid you guys adieu. Goodbye. And good night. Bang.